objectives of these workshops that we are organizing in the Western Pacific with fleets that operate in the Western Pacific is to learn from fishers first which type of pads they are using, which are the different alternatives, biodegradable alternatives. We want to modify the fat structure to decrease or reduce the impact on the ecosystem of these fat structures. And we need to share with fishers their knowledge and what, which difficulties they advance, they can advance on finding new materials for biodegradable fats. And also, because in the Western Pacific uh, there are not trials at sea yet, we are trying to see how we could test biodegradable fats there with the help of fishers. Some of the objectives are, for instance, knowing now which type of materials they are using to build their fats, their fish aggregating devices, if they use, or how much plastic they use, or how much biodegradable material, and to understand better how fats are done nowadays. The typical materials used for uh, making fats currently are uh, uh, nets that are, uh, that are uh, waste nets and, and disposed nets that uh, vessels uh, take out of the uh, vessel after they change the new net. Uh, they use these discarded nets uh, with a small mesh size to make uh, new uh, fads made out of uh, net material, corks, uh, chains and uh, wire rope and they use uh, bamboo and uh, uh, palm leaves. Uh, some fleets are using uh, salt sacks cut into strips tied up to the fads and some uh, fleets are also using uh, different colored strips that uh, they believe that attract fish. Are you still using this type of bed? Like, it's like a kite. Are you using this type of bed? No, for anchor. For anchor bed. I was thinking about the bender. It attracts the tuna a lot, but this is not a biodegradable. Bad, so. But do you think this could be done by the uh, It can be, it can be, but uh, according to comments, that uh, what is it, the smell of rubber, the rubber smell. Also, another important objective is to know if fishers really are aware of the impact of fat structure on the ecosystem, what they think about it. Of course, yes, I believe there's an impact because the materials are not biodegradable. So uh, the uh, use of fads uh, and the creation of these fads, which fleets are uh, using more and more, I believe, is causing an impact into the oceans to create more uh, garbage in, in, in our oceans. So. I think there is an uh, impact, but uh, minor comparing to other pollutants. But I think the impact percentage have a contributed to the environment, I think is huge, it's big. And it, that needs to be addressed. And those that are going to address are, are those that own the boats, the fishermen. They take the full responsibility to address it because they are the one fishing. Talk about whatever the matter they fish, free school or by fats. They know it better than regulators like, like us. So they should come forward and tell us exactly what, what are the best methods and best ways. During this workshop, we also measure if fleets are prepared to move towards the use of biodegradable fats, if they believe, they really believe they need to change, if they have the materials or they, they understand the importance of moving towards these biodegradable fats. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's a move forward that uh, the Pacific is getting ready to, to, to move into the biodegradable fats, but it's a move that uh, requires uh, more research and development. Uh, to figure out uh, economically viable materials and, and the correct materials to use. I think the fleet 
in the Pacific are more than capable. Like I said earlier, they are the one fishing. The fishermen should all do themselves and come up with the best method. We also like to to know which could be the different difficulties when fishers move towards biodegradable fats. It could be finding materials or whatever. We we try to advance difficulties during these workshops. The durability once in the in the ocean as well as on the deck while they are on board. Availability of the materials. Uh, we're looking at uh, uh, the duration of the material that needs to uh, use a material that can last at least six months before it starts to biodegrade. ISSF is working now in the three oceans, in the Pacific, Indian and Atlantic Ocean, to find an alternative fat structure that is made of biodegradable materials or is using less plastic. We have a project in the Atlantic where we will test around 800 fats, biodegradable fats, and then we have the um, a project with the Western Pacific, with a fleet from the Western Pacific, where we would try. It's a pilot project to test 100 fast fishery rating devices, and then we have a project in the Indian Ocean together with the European Union. We are collaborating with European fleets and Korean fleets there to test biodegradable fats. Mm -hmm. 